I am puss in boots. Holy holy. Hey, Jaya! You wanna see something cool? The folks at DreamWorks have kept their promise as they've just announced that Moonray, which is their in-house award-winning production render engine, is now officially open source. As sometime last year, they made an intent announcement of making this awesome renderer open source at Seagraph 2022, and it's beautiful to see that it's finally here and available for developers to work with. Moonray has been used in a good number of feature films like How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Abominable, The Crude's New Age, Trolled her award, the bad guys, and Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And according to a statement within the press release, the folks at DreamWorks have said that after the announcement, DreamWorks have worked diligently on the code base, improved documentation, and interface with pre release partners to demonstrate that Moonray can be built outside of DreamWorks Studio. And I sort of believe that the partners that they're speaking of in this sense might simply include Blender, Maya, Houdini, and a couple of others. Additionally, within the press release, the VP of Global Technology at DreamWorks Animation has also put out a statement saying that I'm tremendously proud of the Moonray team that carefully engineered the renderer with a strict adherence to the core multiprocessing principle. Moonray delivers interactive artistic exploration using all cores of the GPU provided. Like DreamWorks, Moonray was born at the intersection of art and science and were eager to see what the wider artist and developer community will do with Moonray. And like we mentioned in previous posts, Moonray is a Monte Carlo ray tracer which was designed with a focus on scalability and efficiency, with the developer's mantra being to keep all of the vector lines on all of the cores of all the machines busy all the time with meaningful work. As Moonray is built on a leading edge, high scalable architecture allowing quick feature film quality artistic interaction using familiar tools. Additionally, high performance features include support for distributed rendering, a pixel matching XPU mode which simply works with both GPU and CPU, photorealistic ray tracing acceleration via Intel Embraer, and other aspects of Intel One API. Moonray also includes a USD Hydra render delegate for integration into content creation tools that supports that standard. And for those who would like to take a look at this, probably you would like to check it out. There's going to be a link in the description that will bring you right here and also a link in the description that will bring you over to the GitHub where you can easily download the source code alongside building guides which also specifies dependencies that will be required. At the same time, you'll be able to find the documentation for building and experimenting with Moonray as it is currently available. And personally, I'm pretty excited about Moonray finally being available and a huge shout out to the folks at DreamWorks for keeping to their word. As Moonray is currently available for multi-DCC tool integration, this in itself will contribute to the growing list of amazing and useful CG related tools and products that have been and will be of value to the community. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Moonray from the folks at DreamWorks is now available and hopefully we'll start seeing Moonray integrated in tools like Blender, Maya and their likes. And of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.